and welcome to my C++ series. Today in this video we will be learning that what is an a character array in C++. Why do you use the character array in C++? If you want to store the text or the name in a variable, you can store it in a variable by using a character array. So, you know about the character variable. If you want to create the character variable, you will create it, then you only can store the one character in it so if you want to store the name you will definitely have to create an array of character so for example I want to store the name of object I will create an array and I will give the size for example I have an array of 8 0 to 7 I want to store the computer on it array of character stores one character or one index using the array you can store one character on one index I could declare an array I will store characters one by one so if I want to ask my program that print it on the screen to print the data from an a character array you don't need to use the loop with character array is the only array that prints the data without using a loop for the different arrays you will have to use the loop to print the array on the screen you have to use the loop to extract the data from an array for the different data types but in a, for the character array you don't have to use the loop because if you will write the cout object with the name of array let's build it I want it you can see the results on the screen if you if I want to ask the user into the name of object for this time you don't have to use the loop it will directly see in your text I can only store eight characters you can see the computer is on the screen the name I have entered in my array so if you want to store the unlimited text for example I want to store the a complete paragraph and I don't have a size exact size of paragraph then you can erase the size then you can't leave it blank okay you will definitely have to give it something it you can leave the quotations blank and then you also can type that text is here that this is my computer for building and running you can see the results on the screen okay so if we want to ask the user to enter the data so there is a something is crucial that uh, while in if a user enters the data, so if user enters the data that this is my computer, then if you will enter the space like this to the this word, you have a space here, then uh, it will never print the space on the screen. You will see in. To do this, you have a different methods. You have a different approaches that we will be covering in the future. For this time, if I want, if, if I will enter, then it will print that this only. It will never print the complete line. You can see there. After the this, it found the space and it terminates the execution. It never, never accepts the space if the user enters the data. That is something crucial. Okay, so you will have to do use the different approaches. You have to use the different functions that we will be covering in the future if you want to print the paragraph you will definitely have to use different methods our topic is character array you will definitely have to write the long paragraph here okay so character array is the old method of storing the text in a, in a variable so nowadays uh, different approaches different uh, uh, variables are created like string string can do many of things it can do many of manipulations on my text data and uh, 
I can do many of things with by using the string or uh, but the character array is an old approach I want to give the scenario to you that uh, uh, what is in a character array because uh, you should know what is in a character array it's been used in the past you don't have to worry about it that uh, character array doesn't accept the data you will use the different approaches you will use the different functions so string is another type of a very good approach to do this we will be covering in the future i hope it makes sense to all of you so goodbye for now